Hey YouTube family, Mike Jones back here with another video on my channel where we talk about all things investing and personal finance with the genuine hope that we'll be able to or I'll be able to inspire someone to go ahead and get started with their financial freedom journey today. With that said, today we're going to go ahead and be getting into my Weeble portfolio, which is something I really haven't talked about in a while, um, over a month on my main channel or in my main videos. And so I want to go ahead and, you know, discuss that with you guys, go through it, see where the uh, portfolio is progressing. Um, now, I do know that we've had a lot of major downturns in the last uh, couple of weeks. I would say in the last week and a half, um, we've lost a good amount of the gains that we had. But as you know, um, that could just be a great opportunity to go ahead and buy um, steadfast and, and, and hold the positions or, you know, reevaluate the positions that we have in the portfolio. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and start screen recording and we're going to get right into the video. Alrighty, so as you can see here, we're at $17,948 approximately um, with $5,657 um, gain so far, which is a 46% return. Um, we are up $162 on the day, which is almost a 1% return. Um, and we do have $54.55 in buying power. Um, our risk level is still very safe. If I click on it, as you can see, it's in the safe tier. Um, it is starting to get closer to the uh, caution area, but it's still pretty safe. Um, nothing. We don't have any uh, cryptocurrency. We don't have any options in this portfolio. So that's probably why it stays in the safe tier. Um, but as you can see, the first position we have here is Antero Midstream, which is a energy company. Um, and we haven't really decided if we're going to go ahead and hold the position because we haven't done major research on them. Um, but so far we're up 48 cents in the time that we've had them, which is about, you know, almost two months. So you really can't complain with that because it's a 1% return. We do have Canadian Pacific Railway, which is down $36.66, uh, um, which is about a almost 10% uh, loss. Um, now, this may be due to the fact that the company did split not even uh, two months ago. And so um, just depending, you might see a, you know, a quick uptick or a, a quick downturn um, in the coming months of uh, splits. Um, it just depends on what company it is, how they're performing at that current time. And um, so we're not really concerned with uh, Canadian Pacific Railway. We believe that it's a, a, a very solid company and we're happy to have it in the portfolio. We do have Whitehorse Financial. Um, we went ahead and bought one share because that was the remaining buying power we had in our portfolio at the time. And so we're down 9% or 9 cents actually. And so that's not a big deal to us. Um, we do think that um, uh, this financial company has a uh, major upside and we're uh, really hoping to see um, some progress in a year from now. Um, I'm pretty patient on the whole progress. Um, so uh, we'll just see what happens. Next up, we do have IBM, which is a company that I'm absolutely in love with having in the portfolio. Definitely want to get more shares of that. If you haven't um, gotten a couple shares of IBM, I highly suggest it. Um, but right now we're down about $5.68, um, which is almost a 2% loss on that position, um, which is really not bad. It actually makes the company more attractive to me. Um, we do have Hylion up next, which is down $5.44. Um, really trying to get back to that $10 mark, which is where uh, it was previously at. And before that, it was at about $35 a share. So um, we're still at a good position. We're still at a good cost. Um, and we're really not worried about what's going on with Hylion. Because as I've told you, um, it's one of two um, EV stocks that I truly believe in, Hylion and Workhorse Group. So um, really excited to see what's going to happen with those companies in the next few years. Uh, Airbnb, I was able to get one share um, at the, the day of the uh, IPO um, being published. Um, now, as you can see, it's down almost $10, which is a 6.5% loss. Um, but again, not really concerned with that. Airbnb is a major... A uh, company that um, really sees an, a lot of revenue. Even during the pandemic, they're doing pretty well. So I'm really not concerned. Um, I know that once all of the COVID restrictions are permanently 
um, lifted. This company is going to just perform exceedingly well. And I would um, expect to see some of that in um, the actual stock price as well going forward. Um, so really not worried about that. Actually thinking about getting a couple more shares um, when the price is right. Um, next up, we do have Rocket Companies. And as you know, I'm extremely bullish on this company. Even with me down $129.42, I've seen it down um, basically around uh, $15 a share after I'd bought it at $20 a share. So I'm really not concerned. Um, it's still right around $18 a share. Um, so $129.42 lost is really nothing. Um, this company is just getting started. It's just starting to plant its roots and I truly believe in it. Um, I think it'll be one of the most uh, highly successful companies in the coming years and I can't wait to see that progress. Um, next up, we do have Coca-Cola. We have five shares at an average price of $53.96. It's up $13.10 because the share price is now $56.58. So there is a 5% return on that. Um, we do have uh, AbbVie. I was going to say Airbnb again. That's why I stopped. But we do have AbbVie, which is a company that I've had for over a year. Um, this was right when the pandemic started. I went ahead and bought a share. And so um, we were able to buy shares at 80 or one share at $86.26. Now, of course, I wish I would have, you know, been able to get in um, more uh, more shares at that at that share price, but I wasn't able to. So um, we are up thirty dollars and seventy four cents, but we do have some AbV in our Roth IRA at around I think one hundred and twelve dollars a share. Um, so it's good to see it still progressing. This is a company that I also believe will be wildly successful in the years to come. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. We also have Main Street Capital, three shares of that. As you can see, we we're able to get in at an average price of $30.36. It's now up to $41.78. So that is a profit of $34.25 for a 37.5% return. Um, Workhorse Group is another company that I, you know, that EV sector, um, I really am bullish about. Um, it is a speculative stock for me though. And so, you know, seeing a couple of losses or a 27% down um, is not cause for concern. Um, even if it was 50% down, I would still hold the positions that I have because I do believe in the long term, you know, the next five years, uh, possibly that we will see some progress here. Again, this is another company that was at $35 a share previously, and I was able to get in at $16 per share. Um, so there's, you know, more opportunity for me to get in at a lower uh, cost average, and I'm thinking that I might do that. Uh, we also have CVS Health. Unfortunately, we've only been able to, uh, you know, purchase one share of CVS. But in the time that we've had CVS, we've gained $17.16 for a 26% return. So that's awesome to see. Telus Communications, uh, we do have 10 shares here. Um, as you can see, our average share price was $19.68. And of course, it's up to almost $22 a share. So we've gained $23.08 for an almost 12% return. Shaw Communications is another company I'm really bullish on. Um, they're up $28.94 from the share price that we were able to uh, buy them at, which was $17.87. So we're up $55.33 for a 62% return. Um, we do have Walgreens Boot Alliance, and I've told you guys over and over again that Walgreens is a fantastic company to go ahead and get in on. Um, so if you haven't done so, make sure that you go ahead and do that. Um, we are up $79.87 in this position, which is a 20% return. Um, and there's, it, it really hasn't had that much growth. We just have 10 shares. So um, still a fantastic company to get in on uh, under $50. So that might be something that you guys want to think about. Uh, but next up, we do have Simon Property Group, which is one of my most outstanding uh, performing stocks. Um, we do have five shares here. We also have five shares in the main brokerage. And as you can see, we're up 88% or almost 88, uh, 89%. Um, so we've gained $301.68. Um, buying in at $68.06, we're up $128. I believe I saw this company at around $150 um, pre-pandemic. So um, I am considering buying 
five more shares in this uh, portfolio and five more shares in my main portfolio. And I think I'll cap it off right there. Um, Apple is a company that everybody should be invested in. If you're not invested in Apple, um, I understand. Um, but I kind of don't at the same time. If it's for moral reasons, I do get it though. Because, um, you know, with any of these big successful companies, um, sometimes there might be something that you don't uh, fully agree with. And so I can understand why some people might not want to be in on Apple. But to me, it's one of the most solid companies in the stock market. And don't get me wrong, I am someone who uh, does have a moral compass. That's why I don't invest in things like uh, tobacco stocks, um, because I do think um, there is, you know, a lot of false advertising behind those. And um, it leads to a lot of cancers and a lot of uh, mortality in the U.S. Uh, in particular. Now, that sucks because they do give, you know, a fantastic dividend. Um, they are very solid and um, they uh, are also interconnected with uh, a lot of the wine companies, which is something that I really wanted to invest in. But um, just for my own uh, moral uh, sanctity, I decided not to. Um, or moral sanity, I decided not to uh, invest in those tobacco stocks. So I understand if you're not in Apple, um, but I do think it's a, a pretty fantastic company to have in the portfolio. And as you can see, we've gained $239.92 in the time that we've had it, uh, which is you know almost a 20% return. Um, now we would like the progress of Apple's uh, stock price to um, halt right here. Uh, we know that's not realistic, but um, either halt or grow back down. And the reason being is because we'd like to get a higher position, um, a, a higher uh, amount of shares in the positions that we have. So we have 10 shares here. We also have 20 shares in the main um, brokerage, but we would love to get that to 100 shares. And then it can just go crazy from there because we'll probably be capped off with 100 shares um, unless we become you know, very wealthy. Um, so next up we have cured Dr. Pepper. We've gained $7.09. I bought this on a whim knowing that it was a company that was associated with the uh, uh, soda Dr. Pepper. And, you know, since I was already invested in Coca-Cola and, um, Pepsi, I wanted to kind of, you know, have all the ties. Um, now there are other stocks that are associated with sodas, but those sodas are not as popular. And so, I have the top three soda stocks um, in my portfolios, and so I'm pretty proud of that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy more shares. Um, I will have to reassess the stock itself. It's always good to, like if you're gonna buy more shares of a company, um, even if you've already done you know, your research thoroughly, make sure that you go check back up and you know look at the new updated things because things constantly change in the stock market and with companies. Um, so next up, we do have Whirlpool, which is at a fantastic $79.96 uh, gained, um, and that's a 58% return on that company. We have Allstate, which you know has uh, left us in good hands, if you will. Um, so we're up $25.45 on that position, um, which is a almost 25% return. We have WW Granger, which continues to be fantastic, gaining 39%, uh, which is $128.88 at this point in time. Uh, Fastenal is starting to grow, um, up $11.68 for a 27% return. Mercury General, up $18.88 for a 44.5% return. We have uh, Duke Energy. Uh, Duke and Dominion kind of go hand in hand with each other. So if you have one, you kind of have the other. Um, they are different, but um, they pretty much um, provide the same thing. Um, a little bit of stability in the energy sector. Um, so either Duke or Dominion, whichever one you prefer, I highly suggest either energy company. Um, so, so far we're up $15.07, which is a 17% return for Duke Energy, so that's awesome to see. Eaton Corporation is up $67.34, um, which is a 76% uh, return. We have uh, John Deere, which has been fantastic, up $195.41 for 123% return. Um, we might 
consider buying one more share of John Deere, but it's starting to get pretty expensive, um, just being realistic. Um, we also have Chevron, which has decided to gain $3.67, which is cool for us. Um, we also have um, British Petroleum, or BP, which um, is up $27.16 with the five shares we own for a 29% um, return. We have uh, BMO, which has gained $45.47. For people who don't know what BMO is, it's Bank of Montreal, a Canadian bank. I love Canadian banks. Um, if you don't, I don't know why. They're super solid. Um, arguably could be more solid than um, some of the uh, US banks that we have. So I would highly suggest uh, investing. Um, but it's up 83% and uh, that's just absolutely fantastic because I never expected it to get that high. Um, we do have BCE, which is uh, communications, a uh, communications company for sure. I just can't remember the exact name. I think it's British Communications Entertainment or something like that, but I'm not um, too sure. Uh, but we're up $6.09 um, for a 14% return. Assurin is up $46.39 for a 43% return. Tesla is up $2,592.53. Pretty down um, from where it's been in the past, um, but it's still at $654 when we have an average uh, cost of $222. So we really can't complain there. We have Helmrich, which is up $8.66 on the one share we have, which is a 41% return. We have Aflac up $34.42 on the two shares we have, which is a 46% return. Uh, One Oak or OKE is up $113.40, um, still down about $20. Um, so there is room for growth, but it's up 26% since I bought. Um, Berkshire Hathaway is up 50% with $94.14 gained on the one share that we were able to afford. We have Hershey. Uh, up $42.65 for a 31% return. We have Clorox down 38% in eight cents, which is a almost 7% loss, which is absolutely fantastic because this gives us an opportunity to buy Clorox at a uh, discount. Um, so we're definitely considering doing that. We have uh, Goldman Sachs up $169.50 for an 83% return. Amgen is up $19.29 for an 8.5% return. LAM Research, $362.17 for a 133% return. Kimberly Clark is down $2.86. It's not low enough for me to be attracted to buying another share right now, um, but we are a fan of Kimberly Clark. We have DraftKings, five shares of that. Um, we've gained $6.72. Considering it was just down Yesterday, it's nice to see a little bit of growth, but we don't mind it uh, tanking, getting down $30 a share and letting us pile up on it. We also have Diageo, which is up uh, $49.29 for a 35% return. We have uh, SKT or Tanger Factory um, Outlets, which is up $12.22 for a 199% return. Uh, we have Meredith, which is up $28.92 for a 215% return. We have Halliburton, which is up $20.66 for a 97.64% return. We have Viacom CBS, two shares here. Uh, we've gained $57.14 for a 223% uh, return. We have Snapchat, which is up $274.90. We're up six hundred fifty-six dollars or six hundred fifty-six percent on that position. We have uh, Starbucks, which is up fifty-three dollars and sixty cents for an eighty-one and a half percent return. We have Southwest, which is up one hundred and eighty dollars and sixty-three cents for a thirty percent return. We have Bank of Nova Scotia up three hundred and thirty dollars and ninety-six cents for a thirty-six percent return, and we have VNQ which is in the positive, up $10.67 for an 11% return. Absolutely fantastic. I'm not sure what else to say about this. Um, we really can't complain. You see we have uh, nice dividends coming in, so a little bit of interest because of the uh, buying power that we have. Our fees are only because of the foreign um, stocks that we have. Um, these are our biggest gainers in the last month. 
our biggest losers in the last month. And then they have this cool profit and loss calendar that you can look at and see what happened each day. So in the last two days, we've gained $500 back. Um, now it's not we, that we've gained $500 because we were already up up to that position. I think we had hit um, $6,000 as our all-time high in profit. So until we hit that again, I don't really count the profit um, because we have already been there. Um, but with that said, that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I will definitely see you in the next one. Make sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, um, leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing on the channel. Um, thank you for coming back and watching my videos and supporting me. I really appreciate it. And with that said, I will see you in the next one. Thank you and have a blessed day.